Hey everyone, PK here. Hi, it's Bailey. This is my oldest daughter and my partner in crime and we just went shopping at Target. We got some stuff to help our new lifestyle. Um, just a little bit about us. We are working on being healthier as a family. I am working on losing 40 pounds. Um, we are also working on eliminating plastic from our kitchen and eliminating um, chemicals from our household altogether. So today we did go to Target and bought a few things. Um, I'm gonna be real with you guys. We have done terrible with food lately. It's the holidays. We haven't tried very hard, so that's really on me. Um, but going forward, I'm starting in January. My husband and I are gonna detox, and um, we're gonna really start working on vegetables and eliminating sugar and eliminating some bread from my daughter's diet. She eats a ton of bread. Um, so those are our next goals for food. Um, my husband has been still eating or drinking soda. I have eliminated soda from my diet. I have switched to unsweet green tea. I really enjoy drinking it, and it just takes me a few minutes to make it. I do have an iced tea maker, so I just put in my water, put in my tea bags, put ice in the, the pitcher itself, and push start, and in a couple minutes, I have iced tea. So I really love that machine. It was probably about $20. It's, um, it was a great investment for me. So this week, what I have done is I have eliminated chemicals from my shampoo and conditioner, and I tried to make hand soap. Uh, the hand soap I made, we didn't really like it, right, Bailey? No. It's really much. liquidy. It's very liquidy. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try some different recipes, but it just comes out kind of watery. It's just Castile soap, water, and essential oils. I did lemon so that um, it would have the antibacterial properties to it. Uh, but when you pump it, it's just straight water. And we really don't like that. What do you want to say? It's lemon smell water. Yeah. So we're going to keep working on that recipe. Um, I'm thinking maybe adding some coconut milk may help thicken it up a little bit and make it a little bit better for us. Uh, but I'll keep you guys um, in the loop on that. For my shampoo, it is just Castile soap, um, baking soda, and coconut milk and it's a different texture it is a little bit um, thinner than commercial shampoos but it's just the three items and it's really wonderful and um, my hair is falling out in big clumps at the moment because I just had a baby so any moms out there know that and it's awful but I'm trying to nurse my hair back to health so the shampoo has been really great once you put it on you kind of have to let it sit for a second and then you can kind of get it all in there and it works a little bit better than when you just put it on your head initially. Um, I've also found if you leave it on too long, then it makes your hair really greasy. So I only leave it on for about 30 seconds to a minute before I really get in there and clean it. Uh, for my conditioner, I've switched to just apple cider vinegar and water. My daughter hates the smell. My husband hates the smell. It doesn't really bother me. Um, so you just do um, some apple cider vinegar. It was one cup of apple cider vinegar with a half a cup of water. And I put it in an old apple cider vinegar bottle that I had. So it's easier for me to just dump on there. And I've really seen improvement in my hair this week. Um, I haven't put any products in it. I haven't straightened it at all. And it's starting to just feel lighter and healthier. It's still falling out a lot, but I feel like it is falling out less. So um, I do think that that is an improvement. So that was our week. Some of the things we bought today, I'm super excited. Um, I bought this mason jar right here with the little clasp on it. This is going to be for our um, fabric softener. So it's um, the recipe that I found is Castile soap. It has some witch hazel in it and water. And then you just put uh, washcloths in it. I have a whole bunch of baby washcloths that are 100% cotton. And you can use anything that's 100% cotton. Uh, you can tear up an old t-shirt or whatever and use that for it. And you just put that in there and put all the, the washcloths in there. And you let it sit until you have a load of laundry and you need to throw in your fabric softener so I'm really excited to try that the other thing we bought and this is plastic because I haven't found anything stainless that I like and this is just um, a lunchbox set for my daughter so that we can get away from using plastic baggies every time so this does have the middle portion that you can click in as a freezy pack 
So that's really cool. And then it has a bigger portion that we could put a sandwich in if we do that. And it comes with a whole bunch of smaller little containers that we can do different fruits and vegetables. Um, I'm really trying to eliminate any sort of goldfish or crackers or anything like that from her lunch. Um, just because we do eat so much of it. I really want her to have a lot more fruits and vegetables. Um, and peanut butter. Peanut butter and apples is delicious. Yeah. It's a good idea, huh? Very good idea. And I love <laughs> peanut butters and apples anyway. Ooh, we'll have to try almond butter too. I've Ooh, heard a lot of great things about that. Now the last thing that I bought is this wonderful giant thing of mason jars. <laughs> As you can tell, this has... 12 mason jars. 12 mason jars in it so that'll be great for my shampoo and my conditioner and our soaps and things like that as we go along so this week has not been very productive food wise but we have made some positive changes and just taking it a little at a time some of the other things that I want to work on just for my mental health is reading with my daughter every day reading to my baby every day so you know I'm really working on getting off of the social media as much at night and on the weekends and just really being present in my family's life so that is all for this week. Um, like I said, my husband and I, were about to start detoxing and it's that wonderful time of year where everyone makes their health goals and I really wanna stick with them this year. So we are gonna start off with a really good strong detox. I am going to do just fruits, vegetables, and meats. So this is gonna be very difficult for me. Um, tonight we're having stuffed peppers and I'm gonna make rice for my daughter because there's no reason for her not to have it, though we are watching how much we do give her. But I'm gonna make myself a cauliflower rice instead. So um, I'm just gonna start implementing those little things uh, with our meals and we'll see how this goes. So thanks guys so much for joining us and I look forward to telling you guys next time about our struggles and wins and any potential recipes that we made for that week. Um, for my shampoo, conditioner, and our hand soap, I'm gonna drop those recipes below as well as the fabric softener that I'm about to make. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. I love seeing your comments and I love hearing from you guys. Um, you guys really um, inspired me last week. I know I had a couple of really cool comments um, and I look forward to my next video. Thanks everyone. Happy New Year. Bye. <laughs>